just a quick um video before i go on holiday um just want to say i'm still around uh, but i've just been extremely busy with orders on etsy and my website and i've just really not had time to do anything else and i've been coming up with quite a few ideas new challenges and things like that for my shop um so i'm sorry i've not been around for a while but, like I say, I've done really well this past month. I've had 85 binder orders and that's kept me busy. Um, so thank you to everybody that's ordered one. I really, really appreciate it. And also, even though those people that came to me to order one and I gifted it, thank you to you as well for even approaching me. Um, I'm just so... I'm, I'm overwhelmed by it all, to be fair. So anyway, that's the reason why I've not been here. And another reason that my partner was involved in a motorbike accident. Yes, Zoe, can you tell me? It happened. I didn't get a, a thumbs up. I got a phone call. Um, but luckily, he's okay. Um, so that's the main thing. Um, so yeah, I've not been doing any cash stuffing. I've just been concentrating on my orders and my home life. Or should I say, in the correct order, my home life and orders. <laughs> oh, I love orders. I love it. I get so excited. But anyway, I've just got a little bit of money left. Um, I did have a thousand and sixty, I think it was, but I've banked a thousand. Um, so what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to do saving challenges. Because obviously going on holiday I've got I'm caught up with everything so I'm not gonna do anything else and I've just had my nails done I just need to wash my hands really and had my nails done for a long time um so yeah I've just got like 60 pound um to cash stuff uh, not cash stuff to do towards challenges uh I think it's 60 20 30 40 50 60 yeah and like I say, I've banked a thousand pound and that's going to go and pay one of my credit cards off. But I'm leaving that in the bank until I come back. Um, and I'll sort that out later. So, yeah, I've not really been doing anything behind the scenes. Like I say, just um, a few orders and obviously looking after Larry and his friend. Um, his friend's not very good, but we're hoping that everything comes together. Um, so yeah, I've got £1.13 change, so I'll use a pound towards one of my challenges. And I'll put this 30p in... Oh God, bloody camera. Tripod's bloody stupid. What a silly place to put it. <laughs> so I've got 30p, but I don't have 30p on here, so I'm going to scrub off 24 and then at least now I'm six pence up, so it's a bonus. And I will put that in my silver pennies jar. I wasn't really going to do this video. I was going to leave it till after my holiday. So everything's all over the place. Um, all the orders that was on my Etsy shop have been sent out. So they should be with you. I would say Tuesday at the very latest. They've gone first class but. Um, if I say an extra day, then they'll definitely be there then. So that's the 30 pence into there. And a pound can go into there. I'm not going to cross it off because I pinched a pound for the parking for my nails. So that should be right now. Um, I'm not going to do that. I've done myself a new savings challenge, so I'm going to do this one, and this is treat yourself, and this will be really to go towards my nails and if I want my hair cutting or hair dye, because um, I need to dye my hair all the time now. So, 
what I'm going to do, because I'm going on holiday and I'm getting into the holiday spirit, I'm going to put a summer dress. So I'll put £10 in there. And this one just adds up to £70, which, you know, can buy me a pair of... You can get my nails done. You can probably get my hair done at the same time, to be fair. So I'll put £10 in there. I was going to show you um, the binders that I've been doing, but they're all on my website. Um, but when I come back from my holidays, I'm going to do like... Not like everybody else has done, but like a mini savings challenge booklet, similar to my monthly challenge booklet. Um, something along those lines with different designs. Um, and I'm also going to do a new binder, uh, similar to this, which is going to be two, five, ten thousand pounds. Or if you wanted, you could have two fifty or five hundred, whichever. I'm going to try and make them to what people realistically want. So, I've got a little doggy, so I'm going to put £10 in there. But I've got to be careful what I do, really, because I don't have any fibres or anything. So, I'm going to put that as £5, because that's really for his injections. So, if we cross two of them off, that's a bit exaggerated now. It. So I've put ten pound in there. I've still got the old saving chest. Oh, I've already got money in there. Oh, that's from the old one. Oh, I'll cross that over. You see, I've still got the old challenges in there, which I'm not going to do anymore. I'm going to just change my challenges. So there's five pound in there. So really, I could put scrub another one off, can I? Because there's fifteen in there now. Is there fifteen? That as you mean to go along, Gail. Yeah, 15. So I'll take that out. We don't want that to cut. There's 15 in there. Now, I got this challenge off um, Endless Budgets. I had to laminate it because it had all started peeling away. And because I've laminated it, it's a bit too tight for my envelope, which is not good when I've just had my nails done. These pop, I'll die. Yeah, it, she just cut it right to the edge so it didn't have any protection. Um, so I just laminated it. But I've had a go at doing this, you know. This is very much like the Knockout 9, I think it is. But because this 12... Sorry, I didn't realise if you could see or not. Because this 12... It ends up like there's loads of money left. So I might not be able to do this, but shall we just have a go and see what it works out as? How much have I got? 20, 30, 40. Um, come with a 12-sided dice, but when I tried it, I think I had to put like 50 quid in. I can't afford to do that. But I'll just try it and see what how it works. Eight. Now, I've been told if you mark two numbers off, it goes on a little bit longer. If you just mark the eight off, it take, you know it leaves loads of left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put six and two. Let's just see how it works. Eleven. So we've got nine, ten. We've got eight and three. Is that eleven? Yeah, eight and three. Five. Oh God. Four and one. Look at all them big numbers at the end. Ten. I've got to write these big numbers off, haven't I? <laughs> oh God. Eight. Oh my God. So I can't do it, can I? Jesus, 12, 22, 23. Oh my God, I need a calculator. The brain, the brain's not working. Five plus seven plus nine plus 11 plus 12 
Now tell me if I'm doing that wrong, because that is a lot of money to put away each time, isn't it? 44 quid. Can I not cheat? Can I not just keep rolling the dice? <laughs> but do you know what? I suppose if I put it away, it's, it's only going to go in another one, isn't it? But we ain't got 44 quid. We've got 40 quid. I'll put 40 quid in. Is that right? Have I added that up right? Or is that just me being totally thick? Five plus seven plus nine plus eleven plus twelve. Forty-four quid. Jesus, I'll be bankrupt. Saying that, I suppose it'll uh, fill up quicker. Anyway, it's four quid short, but we've put some in, haven't we? So, yeah, because of that, I've now got no money left. <laughs> and that's probably it for my challenges. But to be fair, it was just a bit of fun. I've just come on to sort of say thanks to everybody. Uh, really appreciate you ordering and hopefully I shall see you all from the 24th of June onwards. Have a lovely time in the sun. Apart from this weekend, I think it's here for quite a while. But I just want to say thank you to everybody. I love you so much and totally appreciate your support. Catch you soon. Bye. Bye.